Today is a good day because we are here at my favorite thrift store in the entire state of Oregon, H2O. This is in Dallas, Oregon, and you guys are not going to believe how big this place is. I never leave here with an empty cart, so let's get inside and see what we can find. These little liquor bottle pumps are great. I've actually used one for soap before, and the only problem was I had to thin the soap just a little bit for it to pump correctly. But typically they'll be like little shot glasses that you set right here, and then you just pump right into the shot glass, and then this thing actually turns, so you can just slide it and pump in the next one. Pretty handy.
disappointed in H2O. I think the problem is that since I've been sharing a lot of the places that I love to go thrift with all of you guys here on YouTube, I think a lot more people are going and visiting those places. That's my only assumption that I can come up with because I typically leave with literally a car full there. But I did get a few really great things. I love this mid-century candle holder. I've been getting really into crystal lately. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's probably because it's so timeless and and I feel like it also is a little bit minimalist. And I think that I'm being drawn to minimalism right now. I will never, ever, ever be a minimalist. Don't worry. Your girl is an unapologetic maximalist. And that's never going to change. But I'm definitely very attracted to minimalism right now. This is probably my favorite thing that I got today. This is a hand-woven Guatemalan jacket. And it's got incredible colors and detail on this. Oh my goodness, look at that, you guys. I seriously can't comprehend how much work goes into making something like this. This is such a special piece and it was only $10. It's funny because when you look up close, it's hard to tell what the patterns are, but as you move away, you can kind of tell. I think this is supposed to be birds. Yeah, these are definitely looking like birds to me. So beautiful, absolutely love this. I haven't even tried it on yet, so I'm not sure if this is something that's gonna fit. Wow. So amazing, definitely my favorite find today. I'm really glad that I decided to pick this up. What's funny is the thing that caught my attention was the artwork on the box. I wasn't quite sure what was inside, but I had a feeling it was gonna be something really cool. And it is a brand new, I do not think these have ever been used, bar set. The wood is a little bit dried out just due to its age. So I'm going to use a little bit of my wood butter on this and see if I can kind of get it to shine back up a little bit and give it back that rich warmth texture of the wood. Something like this would be really fun to give as a Christmas gift because even though it is vintage and it's secondhand, it's unused and it's brand new in the box. So I think that something like this would be so cute to give to a white elephant gift exchange at work or to anybody who likes alcohol. <laughs> These I picked up for $2.50 each and the color on them is so pretty. They are handmade, artist signs there on the bottom. I wish that there had been a bigger set because I know a lot of people are always on the lookout for a set of goblets, um, maybe for six or eight, and they're really, really hard to find. One thing about handmade stoneware goblets that I've noticed in all of my years of picking is I never seem to find large sets of them. I think only one time I found maybe a set of eight and it also had the decanter so that's really hard to find because I think these pieces are a little bit fragile and sometimes they get broken so let me know in the comments below do any of you guys ever see a full set of these I feel like I'm always seeing just one or if I'm lucky two even though I'm a little bit disappointed in my H2O finds, it's not that big of a deal because I'm just getting started. Now I'm here in Salem, Oregon, and the first place that I'm going to be hitting up is called Aunt Bee's House. I was told about this place from a sweet subscriber who sent me a link saying that I needed to check it out. And the reason they said I needed to check it out is they said I was going to go nuts when I saw all the mid-century inside there. Ooh, we already got mid-century, although somebody shabby chic did. No!
piece. This is the pattern that I collect and it's only $20. Oh, that's going up at the front desk. So exciting. <laughs> why she thought I was going to love that place. They had so much good mid-century there. That place was really clean. Have you guys been to antique stores before that you go into them and everything looks really pretty but it's covered in a layer of dust? I love going to stores like this where everything is clean and you can tell that the vendors really care about their spaces and take care of things. There were no like empty holes. Everything had been filled in and it was just a really fun time in there. And of course the staff was so sweet. I picked up this beautiful mid-century dance candle holder. This one's really fun because you can put the little skinny candles here in the top, but also in these centers where it dips down. I really love these kind of funky modernist shapes. And there's a house that I just saw on my Facebook modernist group. And I'm going to insert a picture of that house because it almost has this type of design on the roof line of the house. It's incredible. It was designed by a designer who worked for Dansk and did a lot of the candle holders. I'm not sure if this is one of his pieces or not, but I have to show you guys because it's just, it blew my socks off when I saw that. And I can now add this beauty to my personal collection of Bennett Welsh pottery. This is the exact pattern that I collect and I now have three pieces by him. One of them is a vase and it's in a matte finish. And then I now have a second one of these big pitchers. And I'm not quite sure if this is the exact same size as the one I have at home. So I'm excited to see. Um, either way, it would be really great because if they are the same size, I think this would be so pretty in the summer on a outdoor table for, you know, entertaining and you've got flowers coming out of both of them. And if they are different sizes, I think that's extra cool too, because maybe I can put lemonade and then an alcoholic beverage in the bigger one. <laughs> Here's my Bennett Walsh pieces. I was so excited when I got home and I realized that it is a larger size than my other pitcher. So that looks kind of cool when I have that on my kitchen shelves and they're just slightly different sizes. So this is the one that has the matte finish. I don't know if you can tell the difference. And then those two are gloss. So my collection is growing. <laughs> And now we're gonna head to Engelberg Antiques. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember when we went to the massive estate sale for the recycled life and that thing was nuts. It was 19 semi-truck loads full of antiques and I found some really incredible things but I made a mistake when I was there. And I wonder if any of you guys have ever made this mistake too. Even though I walked by the mid-century Christmas houses at least 20 times in the two days that I was there picking, somehow I decided not to take them, even though I knew my husband was on the hunt for some. After I left the second evening, it hit me, what was I thinking? And so I texted Hank and I was like, please, please, please put those aside for me. So today I'm going to go pick those up and check out what else is new in their store. Check, 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 fringe, perfection.
You guys, I think I need this hat. Do I need this hat? $24, vintage, made in England, brown. I think I need it. <laughs> a really good deal these typically sell online for around a hundred oh and they got the monkey pod little floral bouquet sculpture over there I just recently got one of those at Goodwill and sold it in my sale you guys I have been on the hunt as you know for a good piece of vintage art and I am loving this abstract piece right here it is only $30 I like the matting with the black I like the gold on the frame I love the color palette in it I think that's going to be perfect for our house oh so excited oh my gosh <laughs> well what do you know I got another hat to add to my collection. I really like this one. I think it's kind of fun. I've never actually had one that sits up this high before, but I'm kind of digging it. it. It feels a little like 1960s to me. I don't know. I'm really liking this. What do you guys think? It's kind of fun. Um, for those of you who are curious, hats, um, coats, and boots are kind of my thing. And I definitely will let you guys in and show you guys my entire collection at some point. That would just mean that I'd have to, you know, be really organized and clean everything, you know, before I let you in. So I'm going to do it, just not yet. I'm getting ready to move and things are kind of all over the place. I've got some things boxed away that I'm not going to use because they're out of season. And then everything else is just kind of, um, I guess you could call it a beautiful mess because all of my pieces are beautiful and I really love that about getting vintage pieces is that it doesn't look like a pile of Forever 21 and H&M clothes. It's actually unique, handmade, beautiful, really good quality material pieces. Um, so it's kind of fun to display them. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen for our next home so I know what my closet space is going to be like. I think that's going to be really fun to kind of start from scratch. Engelberg Antiques was amazing as always. They are so wonderful. If you come to Salem or you live in Salem and you don't know about them for some weird reason, definitely go check them out. They are so kind and they have the best stuff and I can't believe I just got my art piece. You guys know I've been on the hunt for a while. I'm looking for a couple pieces that are on a larger scale and I think this one is big enough right here. It's actually going to be exactly what I was looking for to be able to fill an entire wall and have that be the only thing on it. So I'm really excited to get this home and figure out where I'm going to put it. I have three different wall spaces that I'm kind of considering and I'll probably test it out with commands velcro strips and see which one it looks better on before I put the actual nail in the wall. Something really exciting that I've been waiting for a few weeks to tell you guys and I know some of you have seen my teasers on Instagram but I can officially tell you guys that I am finally launching my blog. This is something that I've wanted to do for a decade and I'm so excited that now is the time and here's a little bit about what to expect with the blog. It's going to be whatever I am inspired by. I am constantly changing what I'm into, a new designer for pottery, a new type of fashion and I'm always looking for 
for more inspiration and I find a lot of that on other people's blogs. And I thought that this would be a great time for me to share more with you guys. I'm not just making these videos to sell to you guys. I really wanna do this more to inspire and I feel like this is a great way where I can share all of the different things that I'm into right now and give you a little bit of history and show you where you can find those things and they're not going to be necessarily my things to shop. So this is gonna be somewhere that you can come to for mid-century modern, bohemian, fashion, home decor, maybe even a little bit of cooking, who knows? I don't know what it's gonna be. I just know that I'm really excited to share it all with you guys and it is launching next week. So head over to leftcoastrevivals.com and you can subscribe to my newsletter and you will be the first to know as soon as the new blog posts come out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you guys in a brand new episode next week. Thank you.